What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 47, another episode under our safety um, umbrella within the um, NCLEX, which is 9 to 15 percent of the exam. So this is episode 47. Identify and facilitate correct use of infant and child car seats. Y'all, I got to tell you about this one. I've had a personal experience with this one. So I had my first child in January of this year and saying this in fall of 2016. So January 2016, I had my baby and my husband and I, I had my, I got a car seat. And something that's really important about car seats that I didn't realize is they have expiration dates. And so if you're getting one, if the patient has get, gotten one from a friend, you have to make sure that it's within, it's not expired. And it also has never been in an accident. So that's one of those things that parents and you should not ever get one on Craigslist because you can't really verify if that's been in an accident or not. Because if it's been in an accident, you can't verify that all of the safety mechanisms work appropriately. So it's really important to make sure that they are within the expiration date and they are have never been in an accident. The, the, the car seat has not. Um, so I thought, I had my friend show me how to use it. I thought I was good to go. And then um, I have the baby. Last thing I'm really thinking about is the car seat. And then it's like, when we went to put her in it, we had no idea what we were doing. No idea at all. And um, I thought I knew how it clicked in. I thought I knew how the baby, I tightened things, loosened things. Like, no, I did not know. I thought it was really straightforward. So I didn't really look at it. And then, so what I did, my husband and I did was had... Um, at the hospital that we delivered at, what they had was the security team um, would check car seats. It wasn't required um, to leave, although some facilities, if you leave with your infant, part of leaving and discharge is getting, making sure they're safely in the car seat. But it wasn't at, all, at the facility we delivered at. But I asked for them to check because I felt so not good about it. <laughs> so they went through it with us. I felt like such an idiot because it's like, how did I not look this up beforehand? But but, um, you know, it's really important because they're so small, they're so fragile that they have to be secured appropriately or even like a fender bender can really hurt an infant. So um, really important that this is done that, you know, if you're working in labor and delivery, or I guess not necessarily labor and delivery because you wouldn't necessarily be discharging the nurse or the patient. So whatever, maybe mother, baby, postpartum, whatever, that you're asking ahead of time, not three minutes before discharge, but, you know, maybe the day of discharge. Is your car seat in the car? Do you know how to use it? Make sure at your facility you know policy and procedure because maybe at that facility you have to, um, they have to have that checked off. So that's one of those things like I learned quickly as a nurse regardless of the unit if you're discharging someone do not wait until that you're you want them to walk out of the door to ask about things like transportation um, and getting home and practically how that will look and picking up the things that they need you want to make sure that that's that you're assessing that you know ideally maybe the day before or just before um, you know out not hopefully the day of and hey maybe bring the have dad bring the car seat up and then we'll go through how to how to use it because it's it's absolutely essential so um that concludes episode 47 identify and facilitate correct use of infant and child car seats this has been another episode of the unofficial inclex prep podcast to get the massive pdf guide that goes along with this podcast head over to nrsng.com slash inclex prep that's nrsng.com slash inclex prep. That's a free download that you can take with you anywhere, and you can basically have this podcast in text format. Our goal here at nrsng.com is to give you the tools and the confidence that you need to succeed in nursing school, on the inclex, and in your life as a nurse. We want you to succeed, and we want you to become part of this movement of nurses that is dedicated and motivated to learning and becoming the best nurse that they can possibly be. My name is John Haas, RNCCRN, and I'm the founder of NRSNG.com, and I sincerely thank you for being here, and I'm so proud of you for taking this step in your journey. Now you know what time it is now. It's time to go out and be your best self today. Happy nursing.